Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are ready for the major changes and transformations that are happening for each single zodiac sign. Now, we're going to start off with Virgos. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. So let's get right into it, Virgo. Let's see what's coming towards you. Wow. Okay. All right. Virgos. Wow. All right, Virgos. So in regards to love and romance, you have the death card. So there's major transformation uh, we are definitely going into Scorpio type of energy. We do um, recently, uh, Ketu just went into the Scorpio uh, sign, which is, uh, and we're also having the return of Pluto. So uh, it highlights the eighth house and it's all to do with secrets. It's all to do with um, our subconscious connecting to our true desires or that that we've been suppressing. It's all about scandals. It's all about um, things that are being kept hidden uh, that are going to be coming out. So uh, with the death card, I feel that there is a transformational type of energy that's happening with you guys. For some, there could have been some recent uh, separation or endings in regards to a relationship. Or for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, uh, there's partnerships here coming up for you guys with the death card. It's the end of a cycle, the end of being single, um, a, a new transformative type of energy. And again, if we go back to that of the eighth house, it's connecting with our subconscious. It's working on what toxic traits we bring into relationships that uh, now is the time to acknowledge or now it's the time to fully understand in order for Rahu to bring to you the blessings of a stable relationship. Now, you also do have the Ace of Wands here. So there is new beginnings. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an, uh, fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries type of energy. This could be Mars energy as well. So you may be experiencing a bit of being a little bit more out of your comfort zone, being a little bit more uh, I wouldn't say confrontational, like more aggressive in your pursuit uh, for those that you are interested in. Um, so if in the past you've been a bit shy or uh, there was not much communication with the person of your interest, uh, whether it was pride involved, whether it was because they weren't texting, I'm not going to text either, that type of scenario, you guys are going to be going into this being more assertive type of energy, believing more in yourself and being more confident and not really being timid towards rejection. I see you guys, like I said, very confident uh, with the Ace of Wands. There's a new beginning here, a new opportunity uh, to follow your pursuit or your passion. Um, now, we also do have the Queen of Wands here and the Queen of Wands, like I said, could represent the fire energy. doesn't have to be a female. It could be a male energy as well. Now, underneath the Queen of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups. So perhaps you were dealing with the person that perhaps had a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they could have had more than one option. Um, it could have been something that you were either intimidated by or something that you were not really trying to fight for someone's attention. Uh, so that could have been the reason why uh, there was a, kind of a, a situation where if they're not going to contact me or if they're not going to put effort, I'm not going to do it either here with the six of pentacles. It's a give and take type of scenario that you're wanting or that you are uh, expecting the other person to do. Now you do have the ace of wands underneath the star card. So this is indicating to me, not only like the tables turning, uh, it could be that you start to experience more people wanting to get your attention or finding out, uh, finding out that perhaps a person around you or a friend actually has grown feelings for you. Uh, and they're acknowledging that or they are openly uh, talking to you about it and, and letting you know that they're interested in you. Um, and again, like I said, it could be someone in your surroundings. So what they're saying here is the tables are turning. If at some point you felt like it was 
usually you the one that had to fight to get this person's attention. I feel that that's going to be them um, trying to get your attention or trying to fight for your attention, especially if you're seeing, uh, sorry, if they're seeing that a lot of people are like vibrating to your coming towards you or connecting with you, even on social medias. Uh, the star card is all about being highlighted. So it could represent um, that you are coming or ending this month of October uh, being very like the spotlight is going towards you. Like you are, people are very receptive to your energy. And again, like I said, if this person uh, is more accustomed or used to them being the ones that have options, them seeing that you have options will start to raise some type of jealousy or some type of um, possessiveness or feeling like, oh my God, I think Virgo's finally moving on. So let me come back around and try to prove to them. Um, now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, this is the beginning of going to the next level or taking it to the next level. The death, death card uh, represents exactly that, which is the transformation. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, it's really uh, getting on terms of being on the same page and what is it that we want to do or where do we want to take this relationship. So it's taking it to the next level. With the Six of Pentacles, uh, a giving and receiving type of energy, a balanced energy. And I feel that the person that, you know, your partner or your husband or your wife, um, they may be currently experiencing like being extremely supportive, supportive of your dreams, supportive of your vision. If recently you started working on a project or you're trying to get a business off the ground, they're very supportive. They are go for it, Virgo. You can do it. I believe in you very, very positive type of energy. Now, I do want to say that for the end of this month, for those of you guys that are single out there, try to focus. Uh, if you have more than one option, try to focus on those that you're genuinely feeling like you guys have a lot of things in common, because that's ultimately uh, the best suitor for you. Now, for those of you guys that are married, uh, it's going to be very important to like I said, you're going to be like re-energized. You're going to be wanting to do a lot of things with the seven of cups. This is scattered energy. So try to focus your attention towards one or two goals versus like going, you know, trying to pursue all 10 different goals. Uh, take it little by little, step by step. Uh, I think that you will get better results that way. Not only that, but again, falling back to the support of your partner, uh, being understanding is definitely going to keep you motivated to continue uh, till you get to the finish line. So it's very important. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. I hope you guys have an amazing Hallow's Eve and blessings to all of you guys. We'll see each other soon. Bye.